hello guys welcome back so now in this video we will implement the splash screen for our users app so for that purpose right click on lib first of all we will create a new directory okay a new folder or you can say a new package click on directory and we will give it name as a splash screen okay so splash screen folder has been created right click on splash screen folder new dot file and we will give it name as my underscore splash underscore screen so my splash screen dot dot file has been created inside the splash screen folder now let's quickly design this we will create a statful widget and we will give it name as my splash screen return material child container the background color of our splash screen will be basically like this okay a gradient color just like we give this combination of two colors to our app bar on the home screen so for that purpose i will simply copy that gradient code come here to the home screen and where we have this box decoration okay gradient linear gradient color which is combination of pink accent and purple accent color so all we need is just to copy this whole box decoration code okay so i will simply copy this from here and then on the my splash screen inside the container we can apply that decoration on over this container okay so you can see here now to see the changes at real time what we will do here on the man dot dot uh, where we provide the initial screen to home screen so here we will now provide this as our my splash screen okay just like this and now let's just restart the app by clicking on this play button so here you can see this is our linear gradient color for the splash screen after that at the center of the screen we want to display an image or you can say an icon so after the box decoration after the box decoration you can simply say child and using the center widget Now we have to provide a uh, image path okay from the asset since you know that we have not yet added any asset folder in which we have our images so for that purpose right click on your project name which is users underscore app new directory and we will create a folder by the name images okay images and here I will provide this image which is by the name welcome okay just download this and then copy it and come back here to the Android studio and right click on images and then click paste and click OK so now inside the images folder we have our image by the name welcome.png so now we can simply go to the pubspec ML because we have to provide the path to our images folder in the popspec.yml so here if you scroll we have this uh, let me just remove this comment okay assets make sure that this a must be in proper alignment with this hash sign which you can see here or you can say this uses material design this you okay in proper alignment as you can see here do not give any extra space forward or backward okay otherwise you will get error and it will not work for you so it must be below this hash sign okay or you can say in proper alignment with this uses you as you can see here okay proper alignment similarly here we have to provide the path to our this folder so below the uh, first let me remove this below the asset second s okay below the assets second s you have to write dash and then space 
images slash which simply means that whatever is inside our this images folder that is now the part of our this users users app so now let's just click on pub get to see that we have added successfully or not so yeah congratulations exit code 0 which simply means that we have added the images uh, successfully in our users app okay so now let's just come back here if you see this as suggestion click on get dependencies and now click on ignore and now here we can provide the path which is inside the images folder we have an image by the name welcome dot png just like this now let's just click on the play button in order to restart the app to see so that is really cool and really nice now you may want to give it apply some padding or you can say some space from all around this image okay so let's apply some padding on it so just right, uh, click here before this image dot asset okay i and you will see this yellow pulp click on it and wrap with padding so we have apply padding we apply padding on our image dot asset and from all sides 10 will be good enough just like this even you can increase to 12 okay now the next thing what we want is basically to display also some title here user zap or let's say your app name iShop eShop whatever it is okay so since this is a user zap so we will just say iShop user app so how we can display here as you know that uh, first of all we have added this image and now if you want to below uh, I mean to add any other widget for example text widget we will use so we have to uh, wrap our this uh, padding inside a column widget because column is a multi children widget or you can simply say that inside a column widget we can add our this image and then we can add our text widget and so on we can keep adding as many widgets as we want inside the column widget because column is a multi children widget and which is basically at 90 angle okay that is in perpendicular direction you can say so what we can do we can simply wrap this padding with a column widget like this so simple and so easy okay and as I told you column is a multi children widget so now first of all we have an image and then below it that is a perpendicular direction or you can say at 90 angle we want to uh, add here basically a text widget using which we can display our app name so we can say that text and as this is users app so we will simply say users app or if you want you can write here iShop users app it is totally up to you let's apply some stack style on it so the font size will be 30 and the letter spacing will be 3 just like this and the color will be colors dot white and the font weight will be font weight dot bold now these two widgets one is uh, basically our image the other one is the text or you can say the name of our app which we display so these two widgets are basically inside the column widget okay so in order to move this at the center we will use the property for column widget which is basically the main axis alignment so we can say here that is main axis alignment main axis alignment dot center and it will move it to the center just like this now also if you want to give some space between the image and the text widget that is padding and this text okay we have to simply add here a size box widget size box of height let's give it 10 okay just like this 
so this is all about our splash screen now for how much time we want to display this splash screen we have to uh, implement a method for that so above the widget build I can simply implement a method by the name splash screen timer and using timer we can specify the time that is the duration for how much time or seconds you can say so we can say const duration and seconds so for four seconds we want to display this splash screen and if you want you can of course change it to five seconds ten seconds whatever you want we will display it for four seconds and then after it curly presses here and this will be asynchronous since we have to wait for four seconds and after four seconds we will simply send the user to the home screen so we can send navigator dot push context comma material page root context and send the user to the home screen just like this so simple and so easy now above the widget build we have to call the built-in method which is init state okay and inside the init state we will call our this method which we just implemented which is display screen timer now what is this init state built-in method this is a method which is uh, called whenever the app navigates to the my display screen okay whenever the app starts okay from the main dot as you know our app starts from the my display screen so whenever the app comes here it will directly at that time it will call this method display screen timer okay so you can say that called automatically let me write here a comment called automatically when user comes here to this screen or at any screen when you use this init state and you let's say implement any code inside it then that code will be executed automatically whenever the user comes to that screen okay for example here we use it on our splash screen so I will simply write here now that is since this is a splash screen so as I told you init state will be called automatically whenever the user come here to this splash screen so as you know we are calling this splash screen timer so it will be called so anyways now let's just restart the app to see if it is working or not so the app starts and after four seconds it goes to the home screen so that is really cool and really nice let's test it again so after four seconds it go to the home screen